What are we going to do with all that? We got to get it from there to there. Right? Out of the truck and into the garage so, so it doesn't get rained on. Hey folks, good morning. Hope y'all are having a great day, great start to the week. Um, little spoiler alert, this video is not going to be about car care and DIY repair. I'm going to switch up the content a little bit and um, for the next several series of videos, I'm going to be talking about our remodeling project going on upstairs in our attic. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also be sure to hit that bell notification so you get notified when the new videos come out for this series of attic renovations. I don't know how many videos we're going to do. Um, I'm thinking it'll be at least probably four or five videos. So I just kind of wanted to go over real quick. This is just going to be day one of construction. Um, I've got the framer coming over today to start. Uh, obviously, we've got the lumber already delivered today, or it was delivered this past weekend. Um, the framer is coming over. He's going to start getting everything framed up. I wanted to take you guys upstairs, show you just a quick tour of the attic space and show you what we're doing. Um, and uh, uh, why we're doing it is actually my wife and I are expecting our third child this December. And, um, you know, currently we've got a three bedroom, uh, was it two and a half bath uh, house right now. Um, but we do have a finished attic space that is actually already plumbed and wired. So instead of moving and dealing with the headaches and hassles of, of all that, uh, we just decided to go ahead and finish the upstairs. We have probably about 350 square feet of, of uh, usable space upstairs. So we're gonna finish that out. We're actually gonna add a bedroom and a, what they call three quarter bath. So it'll be a bathroom, um, of course, with a toilet and sink, but it'll have a stand up shower as opposed to a, uh, you know, a tub and shower. So. Anyway, that's what we're doing. That's why we're doing it. And, um, you know, this really isn't going to be a tutorial series of videos on how to renovate your attic space. But I just wanted to show you guys and take you along for the ride to show you our renovation project of our attic. So with that, let's go upstairs, take a look at the space, and I'll give you a little tour of that as well. All right, guys, so this is our unfinished attic space right now. And let me just give you a pan around here. So what we've got, as you can see, it's already floored. Um, it's partially insulated over here. And it's already wired. It is already plumbed. We've got plumbing over here on this side. Let me get some light around here. So I've already got plumbing around here on this side. There's our Halloween decoration. So, what this is going to look like. Alright, so what this is going to look like, guys, this will be the actual living space right here. This will be the bedroom. There's going to be a closet over here on this corner. We're going to have a little mechanical closet over here on this side for our HVAC. And then as we walk over here, and then also up along this wall here, we're going to do a knee wall with an access door into that space and then over here so this little space right here is going to become a hallway um, with a basically an exterior door into this attic space and then still have some work to do over in that side of the uh, you know what, what will still be an unfinished attic space and then over here we're going to have a uh, basically a six by seven roughly sized bathroom um, the shower is going to be right here in the corner that'll be about a three by three shower um, with the toilet next to it and then the sink kind of over there in that corner and then so this will all be this will all be framed up right here there'll be a door basically where those pieces of tile are sitting on the floor and then there will be another door right there that goes into the unfinished attic space. So guys, that is just a quick tour of the space that we've got. 
and right now it is about uh, about quarter to nine on Monday morning. Uh, my framer should be here, or his crew should be here within maybe the next 30, 45 minutes or so. And uh, from what I've been told, this framing, this whole project should be framed and finished by the end of this week. So I'm gonna give you guys a, uh, you know, give you several uh, series of videos um, you know, throughout the week, throughout this whole process, you know, I'll probably do, depending on how comfortable the framers are, you know, with being on video, I'll, I'll, I may get them to, uh, you know, come in and give, uh, give their two cents on what they're doing, how they're doing it, and that sort of thing, you know, just to give you guys a, a little bit better perspective from a professional on what they're doing as far as the framing. You know, and then after the framing, of course, we're gonna have to do the electrical, we're gonna have to do the HVAC, I've gotta get a plumber in here to uh, to reroute those lines, to get them where we need to be for all the fixtures. Um, and then I've got the insulation guys, they'll have to come in, they'll have to do two trips, they'll have to do kind of the pre-insulation, um, uh, put the, I don't know what you call them, the, the rafter vents, uh, in, put a couple uh, pieces of house wrap around where the bathroom and shower is going to be, and that sort of thing. And then once the uh, inspections are done, you know, the rough end inspections, then the insulation guys will have to come back and do the final insulation. Um, of course, I got to put, I think it's R15 on the walls and R38 on the ceilings. So we're actually going to have to do something a little bit different. We're going to have to fur down these uh, these rafters a little bit. I think it's about three inches just to provide enough space to get that R38 insulation in. All right, folks. So it has been a full day. It's been our first full day, actually. Uh, well, not a full day, probably guys were here maybe five six hours or so you know with a break in there for lunch but I wanted to show you the progress that they got done um, I'm actually pretty surprised with what they were able to get done and um, you know I'm not a I'm not a professional at framing or anything but you know just looking at the, the cuts that they've made and you know the, the workmanship that they put into what they've done today you know I'm, I'm really impressed with what they've got done so let me just take you a quick tour around the area show you what they got done and show you what we're in for tomorrow all right so obviously we are up here on the top level and this is going to be the uh the top of the ceiling of course and what we've got are uh nine foot ceilings from the bottom of these joists all the way down so we'll have nine foot ceilings in the bedroom which is going to be really nice um they've got a little bit more to do so we are actually uh let's see so kind of where that um uh joint in the plywood is right there that's kind of going to be where um the the wall is going to start going up here and then it's going to make a 90 or it's going to be flush with um, that little three foot knee wall there and then it'll go all the way around it'll wrap around that side there but again just a just a quick look at what we've got up here at the top let's go downstairs or let's go down below and take a look um, at, at everything else all right so let me show you the bathroom area really quickly here All right, so what we've got here, this of course is gonna be the bathroom here, and I think I mentioned to you this morning, you know, we're gonna have a shower here, toilet over here, we're gonna have a little alcove over in that area for the vanity and the sink. And the, um, the wall is actually gonna come right to those, uh, those two by tens right there. So the wall is gonna get butted up right up against here. So we're gonna have this extra space right here. And the uh, the bathroom is actually going to be, I think, about uh, six by seven or so. All right, so the guys had to pull up the flooring this afternoon. And as you can probably tell, the flooring was glued down with some construction adhesive. So they had to, you know, rip that up, um, get the saw, rip all that, pull that out. So the plumbers can then come in, reroute the lines, you know, the drain and the supply lines. For the vanity and the shower and the toilet as well 
All right, so then looking back um, towards, I guess towards the east there, you can see all the roof rafters or the roof joists. Those are almost all the way in. Um, we've got this section here completed up until this point, and it's, I know it's gonna be kind of hard to see here in the shadows, but the, uh, the roof truss here um, actually don't match up or they don't meet up um, evenly. So I think he's gonna have to put in some blocking um, just to be able to get the, uh, the, the new roof trusses or the new reef, uh, roof beams put in. And, um, and then again, we'll keep that at the, at the same elevation, nine foot all the way across. And then one other step that we're gonna have to do for building code is this window does not meet code for the uh, for, for a second uh, emergency exit, exit point. So we're going to actually take the, uh, the window sill here and we're gonna bring it down probably about six inches and that'll give us enough size for a new window to put in so that all of the dimensions and then also the window sill height meet code requirements. So that's really gonna do it for, for this episode. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get notified when my next videos come out. I'm gonna try and keep this consistent so you guys can follow along with this progress. And um, let me know down in the comment section below what do you think of the renovation mascot? Interested to hear your thoughts on that. Um, guys, I think that's really gonna do it for now. If you've got any questions about this renovation, be sure to leave those down in the comment section below. Um, I'm also gonna link my, my Framers Facebook page down in the comment section below. I'm sorry, down in the description below if you guys are interested and um, are, are kind of local to the central North Carolina area. Um, I, I highly recommend him and all his information will be down in the description below. Be sure to check him out, show him some love on the Facebook page. So again guys, that's going to do it for this episode of our attic bedroom renovation project. I hope you've enjoyed it. Be sure to stick around for the next installment of this little mini-series. As always guys, thank you for stopping by the channel. I appreciate your support and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.